Hey kids, welcome to lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Reasoning a Function Pattern, Find the Minimum. Nice work. You've just written a function that implements an algorithm to process an array. If you feel comfortable with the basic pattern you've used to create this function, you can quickly create functions for many other useful algorithms that work on arrays. Basic function pattern. Create a function that accepts an array as an input, Create a flag variable and set its default value before looping through the array. Loop through your array with a for loop that visits every index in the array. Update your flag as necessary with every iteration of your loop. Display your flag at the end of the loop. Let's use this pattern to write a function that finds and displays the smallest value in an array. Instead of using a true false flag to indicate whether we found a value, Let's use a variable to keep track of the smallest value we've seen in our array so far. We have our do this. Starter code has been provided, which outlines and calls find min value with different inputs. Your job will be to finish writing the function. Well, that's very nice that they did it for us. Before programming, try to develop an algorithm that you could use to find the minimum value in an array. Use the pattern outlined above as a guide. Write code in the places indicated with comments to complete the function. You'll want to use the minval variable to keep track of the smallest value you found so far. You'll need to write an if statement that checks whether the current value in the array is less than minval. If it is, then update the smallest value. Run the code to ensure it is working as you intended. We have a hint for our pseudocode I'm going to try this before we hit that to make sure we don't get stuck. Here's what our output should look like. Original, we have some numbers. Smallest in the array is 1. Original, we have a bunch of numbers. Smallest in the array is 1. We have an original, a bunch of big old numbers, and the smallest value in the array is a 19, which looks to be true. This doesn't sound too bad. Looks like code.org gave us a bunch of code to start with and we just have to finish it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code we'll be working with. We have our first array, array one. It has a bunch of numbers in it. We have another array, array two. This also has a bunch of numbers in it. We have a third array, which is array random. It is empty. Looks like we have a loop like we have from all of our other lessons. This loop is going to run 10 times. It is going to pick a random number between 0 and 100. We have find min value array, array 2, and an array random. So this function call is calling to some sort of function. What function is it going to? Right here, the function find min value. And the, the parameter is list. List is just whatever array we're looking at right now. It has a console.log message. It says originals and it prints the list like that. What value should min value start off as? Set its value before. This looks like something we have to do right there. So we'll come back to this. We have a, another loop here and it's saying go the length of the list and update it doing something. What something do we have to do? That looks like another part we have to write right here. Finally, it's going to say the smallest value in the array is and say min value. What do we have to do? Up here, first thing we have to do is we have to go through the code where we need to. It says, what value should min value start off as? Hmm. Well, up here, my random number goes from 0 to 100. So I think our number should go to the highest number, which is 100. If we go any lower, we might miss numbers that it could catch. So if we put 50, maybe our minimum number for some reason is 75, then it would miss that number completely. Second part here, we have to update for our loop here. And what we have to do there is make our if statement. And this is going to check whether the current value in the array is less than min value. If it is, then we want to update this variable. Let's drag our if statement in here. 
And what are we checking for? We want to know whatever list we're on. So we're using list in the current index. Remember, this list right here is just calling to this parameter or variable. And we want to check and make sure that our list is less than the min val. If it is less than the min val, then we want to do something. What do we want to do with this? Right now we're saying if the list is less than the minimum value, well what? Well, if the minimum value is equal to the list we're currently on, index, then I want you to print the smallest value in the array now. And what is this code doing here? It's saying if my list index is less than minimum val, we want to replace minimum val with the list index. What it's basically doing is saying if the number is 5 less than 100, then replace that min value with 5. Then it's going to look as 5 less than the current index here, then it's going to keep going down. So pretty much what it's going to do, if you think all the way back to your sorting lesson at the beginning of the year, we are pretty much substituting the minimum value in each time and checking it against what the current number is. If it's less than that number, it substitutes it. If not, it just keeps moving on. That means I should now, in min value, always get the smallest number possible. Let's see if that's what actually happens. Let's hit run. Original 62725261371. Smallest is one. We missed our first one here. Smallest is one. Smallest is one, and then we have our other array. Four looks like the smallest. Let's try this again. This one, a whole bunch of big numbers except for a two. Smallest is a two. This one, smallest is a 10. Looks like our code is working the way it intended to. What is it doing again? Well, we have a variable up here called min value. We set it to 100. Why 100? Because our random numbers are going through 0 to 100. If we set it anything lower than that, we might actually miss a number. We have it running through a loop. If the index or the current number, if it is less than that, then we substitute min value with whatever that number is. Rinse and repeat. So it's always looking for the smallest number no matter what it's doing because it's always comparing the number against itself for what is smaller. Looking back up to our do this, we wrote code in places where they wanted us to. We used our variable minval and set it to 100. And then we wrote an if statement that checks whether the current value in the array is less than min value. If it is, then it updated it with the smallest value. We ran our code and it worked. Let's hit our pseudo code here and see it looks very identical to ours. For each value in an array, if value is less than the min value, then we're gonna substitute min value in for that one. That looks like everything we have to do for this lesson. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Yep. Good job, kids. I know this was a tough lesson, but you did a fantastic job, and I will see you all on lesson 16.